Good morning, this is David. This video that you're about to enjoy isn't really a typical how-to video. It's more like how it happened to me video. Um, how I tangled with this problem, just dealt with it step by step, best I could. Not being a plumber, not enjoying plumbing work, but occasionally uh, tangling with it. So um, I know there's uh, YouTube experts out there, and plenty of them, so anybody who does watch this, um, feel free to comment down below on, on ideas, uh, techniques, materials, and so forth that uh, might have uh, helped me uh, get this problem resolved a little bit easier. But anyway, it is kind of a story. So uh, watch it, enjoy it. Okay, the first clue in January 2015 that we had a problem was this discoloration on the sheet flooring. I, had, I cut into it and took a look at it, and wow, this is nasty. This toilet's been leaking, and, and for quite a while. Uh, so uh, get the toilet out of there and, and just look at this mess here. So we're going to have to redo part of this floor here. Now there are actually two floors here. There's one on top of the other. So the subfloor itself um, is actually intact and looks okay. We're going to have to remove this quarter inch underlayment, a section of it, and replace it. And then put some new sheet flooring on there. Okay, I'm cutting ahead now. I have another video where I showed in great detail the work I did. But here's the new piece of underlayment screwed down, and um, and after that, then we're just going to cut a new piece of vinyl to put over the top of that. But this video is concerned about the toilet leak. This original flange that's in here, pretty grody. You know, not only that, it's not level, and it's kind of high, higher than it should be. These things should be no more than I think five sixteenths uh, inches above the floor surface. So, but anyway, I decided I'm going to change out the seal at this point in time and um, so there's a seal I picked up put it on the toilet and um, with a little help we're going to get this pushed down a little method I use somebody pulls the two by fours out get it set up ahead of time and then uh, just mounted this toilet this is the original toilet also I couldn't find anything wrong with it and here's the flooring project and the way the toilet came out and I was pretty happy with this for a while Okay, so this is 7, 12, 16, you know, we've got a leaking again here going on. The floor puffed up around the outside. And it looks like there's water on top here. Well, I've been feeling pretty good about that job for the last year and a half, and that's over. It's back again. It's been leaking all along, no doubt. So let's rip this back out and redo this underlayment again. Okay, I've decided to do the flange. I'm going to take a flange out. I haven't done this before, so I had to figure out a way to do it. Uh, the flooring itself, the vinyl though, is okay, by the way. And I went over the toilet with a fine tooth comb. I filled it with water. I you know, looked for a leak, let it sit for several days, and it came out fine. I mean, the toilet looks okay, so I'm, I'm thinking it's the flange. So we're going to get this old thing removed. And it's a, it's a piece that's... Uh, you know, solvent welded down below so you know it's really going to be tough uh, a little bit tough to do a lot of rust you know these two screws are rusted um, and the flange just sat too high so what I'm going to do is is uh, get a saw in here you know and saw this thing off now with this keyhole saw we're going to cut the top off of this old fitting So here's a redone underlayment. So now we'll put a floor bed over there. Okay, I put a ring around here to fill up the gap that the old flange left open, and then I'm caulking all the way around everything. I'm, I'm going to try to make sure that if it does leak again, it doesn't get to the underlayment. So we're going to use this uh, four inch to three inch um, closet flange, and uh, it has a seal on it. I recommend greasing it. So I've got some uh, plumber's grease here. It's working it around. Okay, I like this flange. And that's a cleaner looking job. We'll rotate it into position so that it's uh, 12 inches off the wall. Okay, I have some two inch stainless steel screws. Stuck a dab of caulk in there. I'm using just a regular Harvey's Bullwax number one. I've 
set of the seal, the wax seal, flat side down. I'm going to do it this way. It just wants to fall off of this toilet. Check our measurements with the wall. And just working it down, kind of locking it. Cleared up. Well, it's five months later, and guess what? We have some water. I noticed it on the uh, where the toilet meets the floor. You know, a little bead there. So I took the toilet back off, and then found you know on top of the on top of the seal, you know, some water droplets. I'm gonna see how bad this is. I'm gonna have a look at the underlayment again. So we're gonna pull off this uh, flange that I put in. It's one of my reasons for using that type. You can pull it out, and it's dry. So. Uh, that's good. I don't have to redo that for the third time. Okay, here we are. Time for a new toilet. I got a Mansfield toilet and I'm going to mount it. But first I want to get this flange just perfect. Their instructions call for 5 16 maximum flange height above the finished floor and we're a little high. So I took that piece out that I had in there, the little ring, and also did some leveling on the floor. So. Okay, so we're pretty well level here. So we're a quarter inch here, and quarter inch here. I made a dry run and taped the outline of the toilet so I can set it down straight. And now we're going to place the wax ring. This one came with the toilet. Staying true to our guide tape. Got it down centered, squared with the wall. Okay, it's June 2017, and everything's looking good here with our installation, everything renewed. And um, I still have a habit of checking at the bottom of this toilet from time to time, see if there's any telltale signs of water. There hasn't been. So again, if you want to comment down below, if you have any other any advice or any uh, comments or anything of any kind, feel free to do so. And uh, thanks for watching.